Hi guys, Luna here and welcome to this Witcher 3 Next Gen Update Guide. In this video, we are looking at all of the dialogue choices available in the new quest in the Eternal Fire Shadow. Throughout the dialogue at the end of the mission, there are a bunch of different choices and each choice will affect the outcome of the mission. I replay the ending of the mission lots of times to record what happens for each dialogue option. So let's begin and this does obviously contain spoilers for the mission. So the first choice comes at the final boss fight, Possessed Reynold. If you have done the optional parts of the mission to find the potion, you can choose to either drink the potion or give the potion to him. If you drink the potion, it will increase your sign intensity and accelerate stamina regeneration, giving you a slight boost in battle. Or you can give the potion to Reynold, in which case he will knock it out of your hand and nobody will get the potion. Hmm. Take it then. Just know I'll be ready at the first sign of trouble. The next set of options comes after defeating the Red Miasmal and will determine the ending of the quest, and there are multiple branches to go down here. First, Reynold will ask you to either get the priest, or you can say it's not worth the risk. If you choose to say it's not worth the risk, you will burn Reynold's body, and then you can talk to the priest for the two more dialogue options. Matter settled. Mine's safe. Eternal fire be praised. It's a relief to hear it, Witcher. Might I know what you found? Either tell the priest the details of what you found out or not. If you say the details are not important, the priest gives you the reward and goes on his way. If you tell him the details, the conversation is a little more feisty, but the outcome is the same either way. So that's the first ending to the quest. You can reject Reynolds' request to see the priest, and you will get your reward as normal from the priest. Your brethren trapped the afflicted in the mine, condemned them to a cruel death. No. Why, no. You must have misunderstood. My brothers would never abandon their teachings. They came here to help, most certainly. They did. Then they didn't. Hired a witcher once, in fact. Then sealed the mine again with him and the rest inside. Well, you've my gratitude, of course. Though I fear the dark magic in the caverns twisted your judgment. The eternal fire illumines our path. Hate to state the obvious, but it's a fire's nature to destroy. Light's just a side effect. The bodies you found... There's another explanation. The church will get to the bottom of it, I'm sure. Here, your reward. You've my thanks. Godspeed, priest. Let's backtrack then to the second option with Reynold, and this time we're going to go get the priest for him to talk to. So be it. But a few words, nothing more. Your tone. Understandable but unwarranted. No bad intentions on my part. And even if there were, you'd be here to protect him, right? Fine. I'll get you the priest. I failed to fathom. How could they let this happen? The bodies, the blood, so much blood. I had no idea. Ray. Reynold. I know of the horror you suffered. I thought perhaps I could help. But how does one make amends for such a tragedy? A humble deacon like me. Deacon. Hierarch. You're all the same. Eternal fire accepts two types into their fold. Criminals. And hypocrites. And once you talk to him, you're presented with three options. Either say, not all priests are wicked, Reynolds right, or Boyd's innocent. Are evil one and all, that make all witchers emotionless ghouls? Never known a witcher to imprison the sick and dying. Who 
Whose side you on, anyway? As, as the prior says, he says, Dor confound it. I've hung on their every word my whole life, but, but now, knowing of this travesty, the church must protect the weak, foster hope. Yet what I've witnessed here is, what shall I do? Where shall I go? <laughs> what shall I do? Where shall I go? <laughs> this about you? Are you the victim? Choose not all priests are wicked and you will be given two more choices. Don't need a church to do good priest or crimes like these can't be forgiven. Picking either of these will result in the death of Reynold and the priest. True. So right, which, uh, witches. I shan't be returning to Novigrad. I'll stay here, transform this place, create a haven for the afflicted true to its name. I enrolled at the seminary to serve folk, not the church. Lies. Selfish lies to save your skin. Folk don't change. Not ever. Reynold, calm down. Fucking finding inner peace. Damn it. Should have seen that coming. Lived a witcher, died a witcher, departed a vengeful spirit. Need to burn the bodies. Be on my way. Heading back, if you choose Reynolds Wright as an option, you will be presented with the same options as we did before. Don't need a church to do good priest, or crimes like these can't be forgiven. Again, either of these will result in ending where both Reynold and the priest will die. So whether you choose any of these options will result in ending number two, where both Reynold die and the priest die, but Reynold is angry about it. Finally, let's backtrack and choose the option, the boy's innocent. Again, you can choose don't need a church to be good priest or crimes like these can't be forgiven. And if you choose crimes can't be forgiven, again, they both die. But lastly and finally, if you pick don't need a church to do good priest, we finally get the third option here where the priest survives and Reynold will be burned, but he doesn't sacrifice himself and the priest and he has no anger about it. And this third option is my preferred outcome. Reynold doesn't give in to his anger and kill the priest and the priest lives so you get your coins for finishing the quest. Guys, that is it for this one. All the possible outcomes of all dialogue options for the new quest in the Witcher 3 next gen update, The Eternal Fire Shadow. Hope this video helped. If it did, like and subscribe for more Witcher 3 guides on the new update. Mostly on the new content, but there will be some older stuff as well. And I will see you all next time. Bye. Maybe it did, but that was then. What matters is your choice now. Your sacrifice was not in vain, sir. The church is my home no more. This tomb I will transform into a sanctuary for the living, dedicated in your name, good witcher. Made a difference here, Reynold. For him and many more. <laughs> I'm sure another name would suit it better. I'm no saint, no miracle worker. Just a witcher. And I'd rather it stayed that way. done here. Time we were on our way. By the eternal fire. I must think. No. I know what I must do. Yet to come.
cast aside these 20 years. What I learned of the world. Here, your reward, Witcher. Give my thanks for, uh, uh, for your help. Might not need to cast it all aside, not entirely. There was wisdom in some of what you recited. Perhaps. Yes. Perhaps I've yet to find the Eternal Fire's true light. Perhaps I must seek it elsewhere. Farewell, former deacon. And good luck with your search. Osman's scribblings, the ones Reynold mentioned. Could complete the armor then. Worth a look around next time I'm at Kaer Morin. <laughs>